We'll try that again. And he's forgotten who he is. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sue. Hi, I'm Mark. She's Sue. And together we are... Nuts, Nuts on, on tour. tour. Excuse me, I just had a sneezy fit. She had a sneezy fit and went straight into, Hi, I'm Sue. And I just looked at her and went, huh? You've forgotten who you are? Yeah. <laughs> One of them mornings. Well, we are just going to pack up and leave... We're currently at As Ash a little bit of Stonham Barnes, Aspel Stonham, yeah, yeah Stonham Barnes, Stonham just Aspel. under the uh, the two day craft fair, and then uh, yesterday was Bank Holiday Monday. I had Bank Holiday Monday off, a very relaxing day. Mm -hmm. Just went for a walk round and a uh, little stroll through the shops and what have you. Yeah, I went through the antique places, didn't yes, we? Yes, and got a couple of nice little bits. Mm -hmm. So uh, today we're packing up. Believe it or not, it's actually eight o'clock in the morning, and we <laughs> up, dressed, breakfasted. Da, 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 da. Dogs are walking. Yeah, you've been out. Big dogs at the other end. Little girls down here having cuddles. Yeah, she's down here. Down here. here. Yeah. He's at the other end, looking very studious. Yes. <laughs> He's actually looking at us like, well, "What are you doing?" So, this week's video is done in conjunction with Van of the Collective. So another one of our collective videos, collaboration videos. Mm -hmm. So I will put all the said up. logos. Yeah, said logos. I'll put them all in the uh, in the bit at the bottom, so you can do all the links. And uh, I, I, I but just thought won't put all the individuals up because one of that one of our members has done a, a video with them all flicking through. So I shall put that up in wherever I can fit it. Maybe down there. Maybe down there. Somewhere. Oh, little girl's just appeared. Hello, I'll just see her appear. I'll put it. I'll fit it somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yes, resize it. And fit it somewhere. Yeah. So this collective title vlog log is is hacks for comfortable travel. Right. <laughs> now we've thought about this. You can have actual ha hacks for your motorhome. So, for us, definitely, the air ride seats. Yeah. Yes, yeah, very, co you, you know, not being funny, lorry drivers, uh, long distance lorry drivers have them for a reason. They are very comfy. Lumbar support, angle support, tilt support. There's nothing like sitting in an uncomfortable position trying to drive for three, four, six, ten hours. Yeah? So, uh... <laughs> so... I'm just going to take the camera and turn it round because Big Dog was Big Dog. There you go. Big Dog was sat there. He's now turfed the cushions out of the He's way. He's now reorganised it. He's now reorganised it. Turfed the cushions out of the way so he can get comfy while we do this. I was waiting for him to knock the camera over. <laughs> oh dear. So, oh, there we are. It's gone off scent. He's lost it it's, now. It's, there, uh, it's lost it now. It's Completely tracking. gone. <laughs> it's tracking the wrong person. It's tracking completely wrong now. There you go. Right. So we'll uh, continue. Right. So, number one, definitely the air ride seats. They make things a lot, lot, lot comfier. Make it very interesting when you're trying to drive as well. Ah, but just for getting little, used to it. For little, little people, people with short first legs. Time she, first time she drove Jenny, put the foot on the brake, and as she put the foot on the brake, pressed down on the brake, and the seat went up because of the air. Ah, oh, oh, when, not... <laughs> when you hit a bump and you bounce and your feet come off the pedals because you're too high in the seat, and you think this that's, is not right. That's just again, it, got to get it adjusted right. <laughs> that uh, was amusing. For me, the second one for me would be the air ride suspension. Again, uh, I'm sure some of you have seen it, uh, there's, there's various ones out there, people have grounded their toolbars out going into various sites and, ferries. and, and get, getting on and off ferries and things like that with the air ride suspension, press a button, jack it up as far as it will go, you have a lot more ground clearance for going over slow bumps and going on to ferries and into sites that have got a bit of a ramp up to them. So yeah, now yeah. they are things that you can, I know you can buy the seats separately and buy the air ride suspension as an add-on. 
this goes back to one of our previous videos about uh, that we that we did about getting your wish list and your need list both them things were on our need list so when we bought Jenny we were looking around and saying well it's got to have air ride uh, it's got to have air ride seats it's got to have air suspension it's got to have the hydraulic self level yeah, self leveling self leveling isn't a comfort thing is it this is no more... that's not for a comfort thing but i'm saying it goes to your need yeah, list this is more comfort things how to make your journey comfortable comfortable isn't it yes yeah. well, i don't know how to make your van comfortable as well really i suppose yeah yeah i mean the, one of the things uh, particularly is with the dogs we do they are tethered we yeah, have yeah, they, they have were, your harness on later yeah they were t they're not they used to be tethered to an, an, in the same place but we've had to change that because we found that one dog had lay down and she would lay on all the leads so the other dog was sort of tethered twice <laughs> which didn't he's, help he's tethered but then he's hung in place because she's laid on his lead, lead. and he's like i can't move and she's he couldn't on my move lead. and he'd get all sort of stressy so we've now got them tethered in two different places in the in the van which mm. makes life a bit easier and more comfortable for them you know yeah. number three on our list <sighs> no, number one definitely the air ride seats number two definitely the suspension Number three for us, you've seen them before. I call them, I call them the felt spiders. Yeah, the felt spiders that we put between the plates and between the pans and between the absolute game changer for us. No more rattle. There's nothing worse than going down the road and all you can. Well, it's not even so much. It's the big rattles, isn't it? rattling away and it's two plates clinking together or that would yeah drive you insane. That, oh even more so than now yeah it would drive you insane that one yes <laughs> but uh definitely 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 they stop a lot of the raffle rattles raffles mm -hmm. raffle we also have um you sometimes on a long journey you'll have a little you've got your own little individual flask of coffee which is normally in the front there is cup holders down here and i get i get in-flight service yeah from my yeah. beautiful assistant i'm sure i'm normally doling out coffee at some point i'm driving along and it's like coffee here you go yeah. little espresso shots yeah. uh, when we pull up at traffic lights and things like that where we've got i mean time. another comfort thing with this it's not so much for when you're traveling but it's if you have to stop is you know you've got your loo on board <laughs> well that's you know, unless you're in it. unless you're in a camper where you've got to move things about, about. to get your loo out yeah okay. most of the motorhomes yes definitely yeah. definitely that's definitely oh. an advantage she's now got her squeaky ball that's uh, that, that's it. hello hello can i have that no no as i i found out after i'd had my mri yes, scan you and your squeaky ball <laughs> didn't i you know my mri scan where they fill you full of dye and then they don't tell you that it's going to have an adverse effect on your uh, yes we system. were on our way to wales and it's i need to pull up you need to pull, pull up. up i need a loop you <laughs> need to pull up now i need a loop <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so yeah. luckily on our uh, on our sat nav it's got the nearest parking but, all right just pull up into a parking mm -hmm. there you go yeah. mad, mad mad rush to the back to go to very, the loop uh, yeah mri scans and the, the dye they pump in is quite detrimental <laughs> to traveling <laughs> but that's uh yes comfortable wise i would say they are the three main ones we have other one i mean if you're on about making the motorhome comfy there's make sure you've got nice uh nice foam comfy thank you i would say no, interrupting there i mean one of the other things that but we don't have children so we don't have to occupy little people while we're traveling which some families do but the nice thing with this motorhome is that the two other belted seats are actually where Drax is sitting so if there were children they could be there and they could be using the table to do have computers drawing, drawing all that sort of, they could be occupied by and not actually be sort of struggling to yeah, hold struggling stuff. to find things and things to do yeah you know, the no, two belt that is one of the joys of an air class mm. it is a jenny's a big girl there's plenty yeah. of space for us yes i mean it makes you it makes you laugh actually we've got four belted seats but there's only bed for two well that's yes because <laughs> this has been taken out up here 
the the bed that was over the over the cab uh, was like that when we got it, but the it was never fitted, and instead of having the bed, we have seven extra cupboards, three yeah. across the front and two down either side. So that uh, gives us more cupboard space yeah. and uh, removes a bed that we wouldn't use. Any. The dogs can't climb the ladders to get up there. <laughs> hey. Mm. hey. But uh, I know we had, a, we had a list, didn't we, before we came away of things that we thought, oh, yeah, that would make it more comfortable. I, there's little things like uh, when, we're, when we're anywhere warm, we did have it open to, yesterday, yeah, open the door. And so that Pinky and Perky don't escape, we have a baby gate that uh, yours truly sort of uh, adopted or adapted, so it fits on the actual in the actual gap uh, for the door. So uh, she's not having a drink. Yeah, I was going to say that's the quarter really... sits with her head. She can just peer underneath yeah. and see people walking past. But we do we do shut that actually when we're travelling as well. Yeah, we shut that when we're travelling to stop it swinging around in the breeze. Yeah. But uh, also, if I need to get out, I can shut that and go and fill up or what have you, and uh, don't get any hassle with them trying to escape. Gate. Yes. I don't know if it would actually count for making it comfy. But peace of mind, it gives me peace of mind. I've got the tyre pal, like I've said this several times, uh, I've had a couple of blowouts on different vehicles while I've been travelling down the road. So for me, having the tyre pal where I can monitor the pressure and the, and the temperature of the tyres, even on Monty when Monty's being towed behind us, yeah, having the readout that gives you the pressure and the temperature in each of the 10 tyres is a peace of mind thing. You know, we're tramming along down a road at 60 mile an hour, or where it's allowed, yeah, but we're tramming along down a road. If you have a blowout on Monty behind, you're not going to, until it starts giving it some of that. Yeah, you wouldn't know, would you? So, uh, no, I, that's, I, like I say, I'm not sure if that's comfy or just peace of mind, but yeah. I will say, I mean, uh, once or twice I have sat at the back. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 And that is comfy, actually. It's really nice to sit with, you know, you've got your arms on the table and you can relax. <laughs> it's, it's really, it's really yeah. quite nice you sitting mean, back you're, there. You're not peaceful and relaxed with my driving? <laughs> <laughs> Sue's, uh, Sue's that used to driving her, her truck where you've got the, big bonnet, bonnet and all that like in front of you and you pull up and you're still you know two and a half meters away from anybody so in this with having a flunt literally flat, a fl front. flat front you can pull up and she's going yeah mm -hmm, close mm -hmm. yeah and you're not you're, you're still a couple of foot away but it looks like right, you're on top because of you're high up <laughs> and the front of the back end of the car in front just <laughs> disappeared and you've still got a decent gap it just looks that way because mm -hmm, I'm used to having a bonnet, <laughs> a big white bonnet at the front. <laughs> yeah, no, don't get to one of those. No, no. But yeah. I mean, uh, as for other comfort things, you know, we just make sure the dogs have got their harnessed up, they're in their spot. We have um, a dog stopper, which yes. we actually put across here between the table and the back of the yeah. seat, front seat. Draws in front of the table, behind the seats, to stop. stop Stop people coming and interfering with the driver. driver. Yeah. Big dog will come and put his head in. I want a treat, Dad. Dad, give me a cuddle, Dad. Well, he's actually. Dad, <laughs> well, before we got it, he was actually trying to lay in the gap between the seats, but then he was just getting closer and closer and closer to where you were driving and Daddy's dog pedals. You know, and he wanted to be on your lap, really. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Forty-seven so. kilo lap dog. So we had to. We had to reorganise that. He's, now, he's the one who now tethered for the back. <laughs> but that just makes things a little bit safer. More comfortable for com the driver. <laughs> comfier for me. I haven't got a dog trying to climb, climb onto, on the, your, onto the on seat with me. That's it. Yeah. Well, that's it. There are others in the collective. Please, I'll put them, like I said, put them in the bit at the bottom. Please have a look. Go around all the others. Pass comment if you if you want to know any information about the dog guard or the tire pal or anything like that. Ask questions, put them down there. I'll put the others, I'll put links to the others down below. And remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, 
please do. It helps the channel grow. It uh, gives us an incentive to carry on doing this stuff. Coming out with all this shining wit. Yeah. Or is it white? No, no, no. Shining wit. The other <laughs> thing that we didn't mention oh. is we have the um, heat exchanger, don't we? Oh, yes. That's a... That, not something that we specified that's just something that's in the death lifts uh, when when you're traveling along uh, and obviously in, in in the colder months you can use the engine heat yeah there's an actual heat exchanger uh, just below here and it sends the coolant from the engine round through the heat exchanger and then the coolant from the habitation side the bus side goes through the other side of the heat exchanger so you warm up all the bus without using your electricity or your gas you're just using the heat off your engine so that's uh, yeah you can it, rather than just have a the little blown air fan at the front yeah for your ac unit you can have the entire bus warm so if you're doing a you know couple of hundred mile or even a hundred mile it gets all the bus warm for you so when you get there you're already nice and roasty toasty rather than say something where you've just got your little heater at the front and when you get there you've then got to turn your diesel heater on or use use your gas to get warm so yeah that's a that is yeah. a comfortable one for traveling yeah that's that gets it uh, gets all the bus warm yes but, no That'll do for this one. We'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, drive safe, be safe. Bye. Bye.